because it's bright outside. I'm filming um, just before midday. Um, but I am bringing you another recipe. My son is having a nap at the moment, so I'm trying to take full advantage of doing this. All right, so today we're going to make Sri Lankan dal curry or lentil curry. It's such a classic in Sri Lanka and lots of people love it. And I literally cook it at least once a week because it's one of my favorites. Um, and I know my son loves it too. My husband enjoys it. It's just amazing. And it's a very, like it's one of the most basic curries that you can try to make at home. The only thing with it is that I am using Sri Lankan curry powder, which I don't have recipe at the moment for. So um, you can try to make it with any curry powder you can find in the supermarket, or um, I will link down um, a, a recipe that I can find online uh, for the moment. So you can make your own curry powder at home. If you have a Sri Lankan grocery store um, nearby, then you can also um, try to buy, buy it from there because um, they do have Sri Lankan curry powder. Make sure to get the unroasted curry powder. So there's a roasted version as well, which we use for other recipes. I am going to make a cup of, um, I think these are called split red lentils. Um, so that's what I'm going to be making um, today, one cup of that. And I also need some water, which I'm going to decide later on how much once I add everything. And it all depends on how much gravy you want your um, lentil curry to have. So. That's that, and then I do, I will be using about quarter um, to one third cup of coconut milk, which also depends on the consistency you want your curry to be. So it's very versatile, you can just use um, however much you like, very little, a lot, or whatever. I don't recommend putting too, too much because it can then just taste just like coconuts, not the spices, you know, you want a balance of everything. Um, I do have here some um, garlic cloves that I've sliced into thin pieces and um, green chili. This one's a bit hot. You can also use the bigger, milder ones. Um, a quarter of a large onion that's been roughly chopped, some curry leaves. Um, you can use dried or fresh curry leaves. These have been in the fridge for a while. I just wrap it in a um, paper towel or kitchen towel and um, put it in the fridge that way. I can I don't have to go to the garden to get it all the time um, For spices, we do need Sri Lankan curry powder and um, some turmeric powder and Some chili powder. These are the basic um, spices that we need for a um, Dal curry Sri Lankan dal curry and you also need salt which we are only going to add later on so what we're gonna do this is this could not be any easier you literally are gonna dump everything in garlic green chili all the aromatics and then you're going to add about for one cup I would add about a tablespoon or a tablespoon and a half of curry powder I would say about a tablespoon and a half, maybe just a little bit more. As you can see, I don't ever measure things. I know that that's about a tablespoon and a half. And about a quarter of a teaspoon, very little turmeric. Don't put too much turmeric, it's, yeah. Um, so put about a quarter of a teaspoon of turmeric. Um, and Chili powder depends on how how much you want it to be spicy. I usually add about, I don't know, maybe a teaspoon or two teaspoons, but it's totally up to you. You can change it the way you, you like it. I will today add about a teaspoon because I don't want it to be too spicy. And we are going to add, I'm gonna add a cup of water which isn't gonna give me a lot of gravy. So I think I'm gonna add about another half a cup of water. 
So I'm adding about another half a cup. If you would like, actually I'm going to add a uh, three fourths cup of water. So I added to, in total one cup and a three fourth cup of water, which should submerge all your lentils and all your um, aromatics and spices. And we will go to the stove and I'll show you what to do next. All right, turn your gas or your stove on to high heat at first. Now, what we're trying to do is basically bring this to a boil. Now, if you've noticed, I still haven't added salt and my coconut milk. You want to cook the lentils first. Adding salt before will slow down the um, uh, time that it cooks. So you want, um, and then the lentils become kind of like, some may cook, some might not. So you want to cook it evenly and you want the water to reduce at least by half. So you're going to cook this on high heat and cover it with a lid. To be safe, I would only cover this um, partially. As soon as you hear it boiling, turn down the heat to medium because you don't want it to overflow. And trust me, guys, it will overflow. <laughs> you don't want a big mess. Once it's up to a boil, um, I'll show you what to do next. Okay, so my um, lentils have cooked um, now. Um, they don't look opaque anymore. Um, everything looks like the each lentil piece looks thinner and kind of fragile. That's how you know everything's cooked. Make sure you give it a good stir. Um, it's I it, it started boiling after a couple of minutes, so I turned it down and let it cook between low and medium heat. And I do like you can see the water has um, absorbed really well, and the amount has expanded. Now we have about two cups of lentils here or dal. Now it's the time. I'm just gonna go ahead and season to taste. This is totally up to you how much salt you want to use. If you don't want to use any, don't. But, you know, I can't guarantee you it's going to be tasty. You need a little seasoning. And then I'm just going to use the coconut milk, about quarter of a cup. As soon as you add coconut milk, you need to turn up the heat to high again. Give it a good stir. Make sure everything is combined. If you can hear a child screaming, my son has just woken up. I will go get him. Don't you worry. Let's just finish this up. He's fine. He's in his cot. Nothing will happen to him. And I do have the baby monitor. I can see him. So oh, don't worry. So we're gonna cook this literally for like 30 seconds. Um, it's boiling now, so. Now at this point, you're gonna shut your stove, give it a quick stir, and you are done with your beautiful lentils or dal curry.